in summary, with the many plugs I have on the table now, in summary, there are four ways to identify a walking or a bad plug. Hello guys, welcome to Benko Institute of Technical Studies. On today's class, we are doing something I'm not sure we've done on this channel before. We are, uh, it's okay, it's as you guys a question someone asked me some time ago, how can I uh, detect a plug that is not functional? Okay. Um, I got about five plugs here, one, two, three, four, five plugs. And what I'll be doing with these plugs is to explain to you guys how you can really identify a plug, a functioning plug, and a plug that is non-functional. Okay, these are different plugs from different brands. This one is from Magnet, Marshall, Marshall, NGK, and which is this? This Denso. Okay, this Denso. Okay, one more thing. I am not marketing these plugs for the company. I just feel these are plugs we are associated with in our day-to-day -day, uh, generator usage. So, be rest assured that anything I say or do right now is not uh, for the benefits of any of the uh, company. Okay, let's go. Okay, someone asked me some time ago, how do I identify a genuine plug? Or basically, how do I identify a good plug? Okay, and I told the person most times when you get a generator plug, whether original or inferior, they tend to perform the same function until after some time. And the person went further and asked, okay, even after some time, how do I tell if my generator plug is still very much functional? I think that is a straight question, and I would like to answer that now with the many plugs I have on my hand. Okay, if your generator plug does not work, okay, perhaps your generator does not start, the first call of action as a rule of thumb is to check your plug, right? It's to check if your plug, well, most times some people just change their plug. Uh, some people just change their plug. Some other people just decide to call the technician. Okay, for this class, let me go straight to the point. I do not want to waste many seconds here. These are different plugs, and I will explain to you what um, the effect of what I'll be doing, how it matters to the life of the plugs here. Okay? Basically, if you want to see if a generator plug, originally, if you want to see if a generator plug is good, you just need to connect it to the ignition coil connect it to the ignition coil take the ignition coil connect it to this point the head of the plug like call this the head of the plug yeah the head of the plug then allow this electrode to touch another ion part of the generator when i mean ion part of the generator i mean a part where it's not covered with paint or it's not rubber you get me because if you put it at the tank here it's not going to function well because there's already a barrier which is a pen. So you will look for an iron point and put it there. So if you put on your generator, if you try, please do not forget, while doing this, do not forget to put on the on or off switch. It's very, very important. If the off switch is if the off, if the switch is off, you cannot really understand if your plug is good or not. But if it's on with this, you can understand. Okay, let's go ahead. Now Okay, I'm holding this part. I don't know, probably you have seen the spark here. All right, let me put off the light so we get to see it properly. Okay, this is the light. The light is off now. If you look carefully, you will see a sharp spark. Okay, please put on the light again. All right. If you look carefully, you've seen a sharp spark. What that means is this plug still has much life. Are you getting me? It has much life. It can still be used. That's what it means. That's one. This plug is out of it already. Let me get another plug. 
I'm trying to explain something here, heading somewhere. Okay. Please and please, unless I forget, you see me holding the plug and you are like, does the plug not short because it has power? Of course it's short, but see me I'm holding. I'm holding this part, not the part with the spark itself. If you hold this part, which happens to be the insulator, all these are all insulated. If you hold this part, which happens to be the insulator, the generator plug will not shock you. But if for any reason you touch this part, which is a central electrode, and you touch this other part, be, <laughs> be ready to, to receive an ignition. Instead of igniting the generator, the plug igniting the generator, the plug then ignites you. All right, let's check this now. Okay, let me put up the light so you see it carefully. You see this spark again. All right, put on the light. Okay, we have tested this and we discovered that the plug has good life. But one more thing, a generator plug can have good life you may think it has good life or because it's spark it has life and that same generator plug cannot kick start your generator a case study is this let's test this plug put off the light please you discover this thing is faint Put it on okay i don't know if the camera did just it there but what you will discover is that this particular plug produces a fainter um, spark compared to the others okay what this means is this plug has reduction in quality there's reduction in quality compared to the other plug it may not start a particular generator outrightly but some others it may start do you know why? A generator with this kind of spark, this kind of low spark, results to what we call hard starting. Okay, when you can start your generator, you discover you start and start and start and start. After about five times it comes on, sometimes you start up to ten times it comes on. You discover sometimes you change a plug, a new plug, and it comes on instantly. What that simply means that your old plug is already giving st hard starting. It may have spark, but notice very well that spark is faint. The case study is this one. Okay, I have tested about three plugs out of the five plugs I have, about, and two plugs gave me good spark, the other gave me a very, very poor light spark. Sometimes you may have a generator plug, and you discover when you put on the generator, when you try testing it out this way, you will discover that it sparks around instead of if you notice carefully. There has been spark. The last spark was okay. I'm trying to do this so appropriately so we don't get confused here. If you notice carefully, the last spark was between these two electrodes this and this. This is the central electrode and this is the side electrode. The last spark was between this and this. So there was a spark here. That shows the gentle plug is genuine. That shows the gentle plug is okay. That's if the spark here is very sharp. But if the spark here is faint, what that shows is it's already weak and can likely start a generator after much pulling or may not start at all. Another case of plug is this, of your plug may be this, it doesn't bring spark at all. When your generator spark doesn't come on at all, just know two things. It's either your plug is entirely bad or the link between your plug, the link to your plug, that means this wire, the starting core is bad. But most times, majority of the time, it's usually your plug that is bad. So at that point, you have, you, you understand your plug is bad. When, I, I repeat, when your plug does not have a spark at all between these two electrodes, just know that the plug is bad. Another thing that may exist is this. You may, this, you may see spark around, yeah, you won't see spark here between the plug, the plug, the electrode, but somehow you will see spark here around this 
this is a proceline insulator okay this is a proceline insulator this particular one is a proceline insulator this is the electric itself around the insulator we all know that an insulator is not supposed to produce spark because it acts as a shield a cover but around the insulator you discover there is spark and if you discover there is spark around the insulator what that simply means is that plug is dead it cannot give you anything it cannot start whatsoever okay in summary with the many plugs i have on the table now in summary there are four ways to identify a working or a bad plug a good or a bad plug one of them is if the spark between the two electrodes is good is sharp then you know the plug is working if the spark between the two electrodes is faint you know the plug is no longer as strong as it used to be if there is no spark at all between the two electrodes you know the plug is dead entirely if there is spark but this time around the spark is not between the electrodes it is around the proceline asics this is the proceline here is a proceline insulator it's around the proceline insulator then that shows your plug is dead i hope um, we basically understand how a plug works now and now we can identify if the plug in our generator is still good or is still bad all right i know you've enjoyed this class I know you thoroughly enjoy these teachings in this class and please do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed do well to share to friends and family we hope to make uh, this channel a global brand in terms of small engine repairs and please do well to uh, comment in the comment section so we can interact and do not forget to like as well it is uh, of recent we understood YouTube tend, YouTube tends to blow up video suites high ratio of likes to views please do well as you view the videos as you watch the videos please do well to like as well till we meet in our next class it's bye from us